Hey everyone, Sherry Dunlevy here. Just got back from my walk with Ollie. It's very hot and humid out here in Wheeling, West Virginia. And I wanted to continue with day three of the storytelling challenge. So today, my story is a lesson in love. This one was a doozy for me. You see, when you become a mother and you have that first child, I mean, you are consumed with love. You, you eat, sleep, breathe, drink, and you can't get enough of this child, this baby. They, they become your life and your family unit um, just becomes your all importance of life. And I remember when we found out that I was pregnant, it was probably around this time of year. Wow probably around this time of year, 19 years ago, that I found out I was pregnant with my second child, Brandon. And I loved Trey so much that I couldn't imagine how I, my heart could hold any more love. And this whole time, I remember that I found out that there were problems and I started feeling like uh, guilty that how am I going to divide this love up? You see... I was not an abundant thinker back then. And I think that love is total abundance now, but I didn't know that. I thought I had so much in here to give, and I gave this much to my husband, and, and from what I understood, I needed to give him the biggest part, and then I had this much left for my son, and this part for my parents, and this part for my friends, and. How was I going to make room in my heart for my second child? I didn't know how I was going to do this. And it really had me worried. It had me up at night. And then I thought, oh my gosh, you know, there are issues now. We know that there are going to be issues with this child. What if I'm so busy with this child that it's going to take away the love that I have for Trey? And it kept me up at night. And then this magical, wonderful thing happened. My son, Brandon, was born. And I realized that there is not just this set amount of love that is given to us that you grow. It grows it. It just grows your heart bigger. That's all it is. And when I think back now, I look at this you know, lack mentality that I've had growing up most of my life. And you need to start with love. There is no set amount of love that you have to divvy up and give to people. The more love you give out, the bigger your heart grows. And the more you can love and the more love you receive and the more love that fills you. And it becomes this most wonderful, awesome thing. So that's my story for today. Don't be a lack thinker. There is no finite amount of love that we have. The more you give, the more you get in return. And the more you give, and the more that situations and people come into your life, the more it grows. And there's no end to that growth whatsoever. So I hope that I helped you today. And thank you for listening, and I'll have another story for you tomorrow. Have a great day.